Hello, my name is Norma with Mommy's Personalized Gifts and DIYs. In this channel, you will be learning how to make and create personalized items for all occasions. You can give them away or you can use them to start your own little business. Hello and welcome back to Mommy's DIYs. This afternoon, I'm going to uh, do a class for... Um, if you have a quick cut or uh, mostly a quick cut, I have never worked with silhouette, so I wouldn't know what to do with it. Um, but I have had my quick cut for about two years, two years and a half, something like that. So what I'm gonna teach you how to do is how to make these stickers. I make them in, uh, if it's for a boy, I make them either blue or white. Um, and if it's for a girl, I make different different ones. So here's like the samples that we are making. And this is a good, uh, if you wanna start a little business, this is a really uh, nice things to do. Uh, there are gifts like for baby showers. So I did this, um, there are glitter and I did these other ones. So I'm gonna show you the a simple, easy way to um, make them. And the materials that you're gonna be using, of course, is uh, a quick cut and then the, uh, the mat to cut your um, designs. Uh, you're gonna use um, Oracle 651, it's a permanent uh, vinyl. Um, I'm gonna be using a pink and a blue, uh, one for a boy and one for a girl. We're gonna use a transfer paper and I'm gonna be uh, putting links of the in the bottom of the in the description box, and um, make sure that you stay until the end of the video because we're going to. Um, I'm gonna give you the prices: how much you invest, how much you you can sell it for, and how much is your profit. These are very cute gifts, like for a baby shower. Even if you get the materials on sale, when you price it, you need to price it at the retail. Because if it happens that you can get it on um, sale, then you're going to end up losing money. So regardless of, you always need to do your pricing at a retail price. So we're going to go ahead and download an, a, an image. And I want to uh, show you a trick that I learned. I was at an appointment once and the appointment was taking too long. So I pulled out my iPad and I decided to work on it uh, just to pass the time. And I found a way to download your pictures and take the backgrounds off really, really easy. When you do it on the QuickCut in the computer, it takes a, a lot of work and much longer time. So what we're gonna do, I'm already on my QuickCut here and um, let me close it. I downloaded the application. You can see it down there and I just click it and it, it opens it. Sometimes I need to log in if I haven't used it uh, like often. But when you, you're gonna go down, if you can see here, you're gonna go down to the upload and you're gonna click on that. And it's asking you if you want it to take a picture or select. So I already downloaded some, I already saved some pictures, so we're gonna to go to select photo and go all photos. And I think I wanna do this one because I haven't done this one. So we're gonna choose that one. And then this is how it's gonna look when you clean it. And this thing, you can move it around, okay? So if it's in your way, you can always move it around. So we're gonna go down here to the remove. We're gonna click on that. And then we're just gonna click on the areas we want it to clean. So it's clean, see how easy it is? It's clean in the background. If the areas are really small, you can get one of those pens that have like a, a little, um, I have one here, let me show you. So a, pen, a pen like this that it has, this is to work on iPads, okay? So you can go, right in there, click, and see how it's changing on this side? Let me move it out so you can see. See how it's changing up here? So then, to do this little area, all you have to do is bring it closer and just click on there. If you were doing this on your computer, it will take like so much work. 
So then you go into all the little white areas. If you make a boo boo, see how it's changing? If you make a boo boo, you can always go uh, back. Right here, you go down to, you go down to undo, undo and it goes back. So now we need to do this area here. So it's done. We need to move it up so that we can do the, maybe make it, make it bigger because we need to clean, let's see here. We need to clean the letters. So you just go in there and click on the, on the white area and it's gonna start cleaning. Uh, try it on your, in your computer and see that it's, see like I here, I deleted the A. So all I do is I go undo and it does it. So be careful, just like go in the middle, right in the middle. Sometimes when my hand shakes, I hold the pen with both hands just to keep the control. And you can see on the image over here how it's cleaning the, the image and the letters. If for any reason these letters were uh, too small, you can always delete the letters and then add them later. When you have it, when you have your image on the screen, that's another option. So here we go. This is already done. So then what we do, we're gonna go to next and there's your image. We're gonna go ahead and go next and we wanna name it. So it's like, I'm just gonna put baby on board, baby on board, just the initials, Bob, oh my goodness. So we we want a cut image, we don't want to print and cut because that's something completely different that I can show you what to do with that later. But you're gonna click on cut image and then you're gonna go save. And there it is, it's already saved, okay? Um, at the beginning of the, of you uh, saving, it's gonna ask you where do you wanna save it because I always save it to the to the cloud. It's not asking me anymore, but it usually says, do you wanna save it on your, on your device or do you wanna save it on iCloud? And then you go save it on iCloud. So, so that when we go to the computer, you can just, it's gonna be, already done. So then we're we're uh, done with this step. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my computer and let's move to the to my other computer. Okay, so now we're here in front of the computer and we're gonna go ahead and, um, and click for a new project. And we're gonna go to upload right there. And here's the here's the the image that we worked on. So it should be it should be nice and clean for us. So here we go. So here's the image right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go right here to change the size. And we're probably gonna do five inches width just to start and see how it looks. And automatically the image is gonna change um, in on the uh, height. So the reason okay. why I'm gonna do it uh, five inches width is because I wanna do two of them, okay? And uh, I'm gonna be using um, maybe it's gonna be eight eight and a quarter, like eight and a half inches uh, long and five inches the width, so I can go ahead and do two, two in one. So let's go ahead and upload another one, another one for a boy. I have other ones here that uh, I think I want to try this one. I haven't done this one. I already cleaned it, but. I haven't printed. Okay, so here's the image. So on this one, we're just gonna go up. You know what is nice about QuickCut is that before you could only do 
six and a half by nine and a quarter inches and with the new update now you can do uh other sizes bigger than that so which is probably going to do it around that size which is like eight eight and a, and a quarter right there okay so we have two. okay so here we have it and at this point because we're going to print it in blue we're going to change the color to it doesn't matter what tone of blue um because we're going to use the the one that we already have which is this one this blue okay so they both need to be the same color and we're going to go make it so here we are you're gonna you're gonna take it um away a little bit from this red line so that sometimes it it cuts a little bit so you're just gonna bring it down a, just a tiny bit from the red line okay so there we have it when you are printing on a Cricut for vinyl you don't do mirror but when you're doing vinyl like to print uh, like to do for a t-shirt then you change that to mirror okay but right now that's all we need so now since we already have them <clears throat> ready to print we're just going to go continue so it's uh the page took us here so i need to bring i need to bring these two and then i need to go to vinyl Okay, so it is all done. We're gonna we're gonna go here, take it out, and we're gonna be ready to read it out. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna cut it. It was about nine inches. So I'm gonna cut just a little tiny bit here. I'm gonna cut just a little tiny bit here, and then I'm gonna go here and see this thing has lines so here's my cut so I'm just going to cut here all the way through that way we will keep the the vinyl straight okay here we are and then our designs are right here I don't know if you can tell I have my two designs right here, so I'm just gonna cut right in the middle. Here we go. Here's my two designs. So I'm gonna go ahead and start um, weeding them out.
So here we are. I trimmed the sides, all the sides around. And now we're gonna go ahead and put the transfer uh, paper. And um, before we continue moving forward, you guys, if you like what you're seeing, if you like the content of my videos, make sure that you give me thumbs up. If you haven't um, uh, share it, please share it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, that, it makes me feel so good when I get someone to subscribe. That means that I'm doing something good. So, okay. So, uh, and also make sure that you watch the video all the way to the end because at the end is where when uh, where I'm gonna put the breakdown in the price. Okay. So here is my um, my transfer paper right here. So I'm gonna put both of the images. We're trying to find a way to save. Uh, to save uh, paper and transfer paper and everything uh, so that we save more money, okay? So here's my two images. So all I'm gonna do is just cut them. Okay, so all you're really gonna do is just go ahead and cut and those are ready to go. If you were to buy, to sell one of these and people want you to put it in the mail for them, you can do that. Like I had put some on my on my Facebook page and which reminds me, uh, look for um, Mommy's Designs CA, which is California. And um, like my page, you guys. And if you have any questions, if you do one of these here or any other one, show me what you did. If you have any questions, you can instant instant message me from there, and I can help so you. So I was saying, ladies. if you need to mail it, I it's probably about between ninety nine cents and a dollar fifty. I will probably charge him a dollar fifty for shipping, just to be safe, okay? And uh, and you put it in a regular uh, Manila envelope, not padded Manila envelope, and you can just make sure that you write on your envelope, do not bend and you're good you're good the shipping is not that bad so here it is you guys i hope you like what you learned today and um, please go ahead and like me uh, follow me on my social media facebook and instagram uh, other than that thank you so much may the lord bless you today and every day and have a good day see you next time